I've bought a new APS-C camera, it's small, it's focusing fast and it's great, I've tested a little this camera, I went for a photo walk and I was amazed how this camera acted. So I'm very thrilled to share with you thoughts about my new camera, let's talk about this now. <laughs> Hi there and welcome to my channel, my name is Tudor Matescu and in this video I want to share with you my thoughts about this brand new camera that I've bought. It's an APS-C camera and I want to share with you why I've bought it and how this camera is acting and why I'm very thrilled about this camera and why this setup is my dream combo. And yes it is, I've tested it out and it ticks all the boxes. So first of all, I was a big fan of Fujifilm XE4, but I'm not able to find any more XE4 on the market at decent prices. So I was thinking, I was thinking, where can I find a small camera like XE4? And here it is, this camera, it is as small as Fujifilm XE4 and it has an APS-C modern sensor. So, small and light like Fujifilm XE4, it has 403 grams, it's very light in the hand and it also has this special grip. So I can keep it like this and it's staying very very well in the hand, I'm really liking it, so I don't need to add another grip compared to Fujifilm XE4. So it's checking these boxes, a small portable light camera that has an EVF, great EVF. I'm really liking this EVF, it's clear, it's bright, it's very okay, very okay EVF. And it has a tilt screen, big surprise. I always wanted a tilt screen for a light street photography camera. My dream camera till now was Lumix GX9, but that camera it's old and the Micro Four Thirds manufacturers aren't making any progress regarding the noise in low light in night photography for those cameras and also they aren't producing any new small cameras, just big cameras. So anyway, I am tired of waiting and this is why I've chose this camera because it has an APS-C sensor capable of doing night street photography, low light street photography. So a huge point here. Next, this camera has enough dials and buttons to be customized as you want. So I was managed to customize it and I'm just taking it out and shooting, just pressing the button using the tilt screen again. This tilt screen is great and compared to Fujifilm XE4, you will not flip the screen. The sensor of this camera is working great, it's not flipping the screen when you will raise the screen so you can also vlog and record with this camera, it's crazy and it's a very very good camera. So it doesn't have that bug that annoyed me, yes it doesn't have the Fujifilm film simulations, but I'm a black and white shooter and I can always get the film simulations in RAW files using Cobalt profiles. So I was going out with this camera and I was amazed how light it's this camera in my bag, as light as a Micro Four Thirds camera, as light as Fujifilm XE4 and I was tilting the screen, no flip screen, no swivel screen, not that annoying screen because why I bought this camera? I wanted a camera that will not make me think. In general, I'm going out not in a good mood, I'm not motivated to take pictures. I'm creating my motivation by getting the camera out from my camera bag. And this is why I use a camera bag and not a backpack, because I want to access my camera easy. So I'm doing all these little things to keep me motivated, to keep my hobby going. So this is why it was important to have a small camera that will not make me think. And when I'm on the streets and I'm not in the mood for taking pictures, a tear screen is helping a lot. I'm just getting the small camera out of my bag, I'm starting to take pictures and I'm starting to get the mood going. So this stuff is very important for me because I must motivate myself and a camera like this it's making me want to take pictures because I'm getting it out, I'm starting to take pictures, I'm starting to see the results, I'm starting to like it and I'm getting in the mood and I'm starting to shoot using the EVF or using the 
טיל סקרין. And I'm a big fan again of the טיל סקרין. And in our days it's very hard to find a camera with a טיל סקרין. Because I'm really liking that angle from down. And you don't disturb the subject. This is another situation, another talk. It doesn't matter. But the tilt screen, it's a big help. So huge point for this small APS-C camera. Next, another thing that I don't have on Olympus OMD M10 Mar 4 is the auto ISO. I had that option on Fujifilm X-C4, of course. I had it on GX9, but it's not on Olympus OMD M10 Mar 4. But this camera has it. So, this camera has auto ISO with minimum shutter speed. Great, again, for those moments when you don't want to think about settings. So, great stuff here. Next, this camera also has a flash. It has a flash built in. Fujifilm X-C4 doesn't have a flash built in. GX9 has a flash. OMD M10 Mark IV has a flash. But other cameras don't have a flash built in. And having a flash built in on you, again, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. A camera that can shoot in any conditions, lighting conditions. And I will not talk yet about the lenses. Whoa, we will see the lenses immediately. So, flash, this screen, great viewfinder, light, light, it's so light. I really must add a grip or a laser case because, yes, it's short, it's short and light. And it's no problem for me. Again, it's a hobby camera, a camera that I am liking to take with me and this guy it's not killing me regarding weight and size. So this is why again I'm a big fan of small cameras with still screen but especially with a great sensor, at least APS-C sensor. So all it's working great but now we are getting to the next advantage that it's a big advantage, the lenses. I recently saw a video by Arthur that was sponsored by Sony and he was explaining why he's shooting APS-C Sony cameras. And at that moment I was realizing, I already have the lenses for this camera, I already have the lenses. And I didn't realize at that moment that personally I can use Sony APS-C because this guy it's a Sony APS-C camera. And by the way, I have a special newsletter dedicated to the passionate photographer. So if you want to learn more about photography tips, tricks and all kinds of useful information for free, please subscribe to my newsletter, link in the comments and description. It's Sony A6400 and I can use my full frame lenses and APS-C lenses because I have some on this small camera. So this means I get a new system. I get a new photographical and videographical system with just one body. Crazy advantage here. I didn't realize till now how big advantage is this amount regarding APS-C and full frame. I was thinking like others that adapting full frame lenses to APS-C lenses it's not something that you want and so on. No, no, it's a great advantage. The images that I've got from this lens, 28mm f2 and I will get immediately why this lens convinced me to buy this camera are great, great image quality, great sharpness, great AF, all is great, great subject to background separation when you want that. So, I bought this camera because of this lens. And why? This is a 28mm f2 on a full frame. But I've realized that, in fact, on the Sony APS-C system, this is 42mm f2. ta -da! This means a 40mm light, small, bright, with bright aperture, light again, with AF, because again, it's important with AF, I don't want to manual focus a 40 millimeter lens for a kit like this. I can use a manual focus lens again. Again, I can use it when I want it and when I'm in the mood. But in general, I'm not in the mood to take street photography. For me, street photography, it's an art and a hobby that I must get motivated to practice it. And to practice it, I must have a small camera with AF because I don't have time for this kind of hobby, but I don't want to lose it. And this is why I'm searching for a tool that will enable me to keep it up, not to let it go, because I'm liking it. So, this why this combo, the 28mm f2 with Sony APS-C camera, it's meeting all my criteria 
for a small camera with a 40mm bright aperture with AF. I know about the 40mm f2.5 from Sony. And I know I can use it on Sony A7C that I have. But on Sony A7C I don't have a tilt screen. But here I have a tilt screen. It's great. It's totally, totally great. And when I was going out, wow. So basically this is my new GX9 because I was always whining about why I'm not able to find a camera good like GX9 that will offer me a small pancake-ish lens, the 20mm f1.7 with a tilt screen, with viewfinder, with great AF because this what is GX9. The only downside is that in low light, in nice state photography, the micro four sensor is not enough. Yes, I'm able to use the noise software but again i'm liking not to use it it's easier for me to have a direct good row file so this combo is meeting all my searches i was always searching from the moment that i've left gx9 as my main hobby camera for a small 40 millimeters kit that i was able to take with me with a tail screen not a flip screen and i was always thinking where is the choice when Sony A6400 came on the market, I was thinking about this camera. But the influencers told me Sony Electronics, Sony is making video cams, Sony is making uh, TVs, Sony is not making cameras. But they were wrong. This camera is great, 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 great. And I also have Sony 7 how I've said, and I'm using Sony for a long period of time and I'm totally, totally satisfied with their products. I didn't have problems with their products like other manufacturers. I had problems with Fujifilm. I had problems with Olympus, but not with Sony cameras. So big deal here. So don't look at what the influencers are saying. Look at the specs, look at the history of what Sony is doing. And in this camera, it's feeling the Sony put all their knowledge at that time. So it's feeling it's not a crippled camera like OMD M10 Mark IV or like XE4. It's feeling that XE4 was crippled. It's feeling that Olympus OMD M10 Mark IV was crippled. But no, Sony put all their technology at that time in this small camera, launched in 2019. So this is no joke. Also, we have other options now, Sony A6700 or Sony 6600 and so on. So I'm able to get better APS-C cameras and still small cameras, not like on Fujifilm XE4 and also with rangefinder look. Yes, I don't like the 6700 because it has a flip screen. I really don't like that. So for me, it's a no-go. But we are able to find enough cameras like this at a great price and also we are able to find on the used market and also on the new market the Sony Next model. So we have many, many options so we can build a good to go kit with two lenses if you want to go with two lenses, with zooms, with third party lenses. So the options are unlimited and even more, it's cheaper. It's cheaper and it's more reliable than other options. And for me, as a black and white shooter, I do prefer the end result to have it in black and white. So no questions asked here. Black and white, it's always working with another black and white file, even if it's from Micro Four Thirds, from Fujifilm, from Sony, from Canon, from Nikon. So I can build my portfolio and I'm liking black and white photography. So for me, as a black and white shooter, but also as a person who is liking to see the general JPEGs in color, this camera is ticking all the boxes. Yes, you have great JPEGs, great color in the standard profile. I was looking at the JPEGs and I'm really liking it. Yes, I can't customize them, but this is it. It's not a problem. When I'm out, I'm really liking more the Sony philosophy and I will tell you why. With Fujifilm, I'm starting to make settings. I'm starting to adjust white balance. I'm starting to adjust shadows, to adjust highlights, to adjust contrast, color. And instead of paying attention to what's happening and instead of paying attention to take pictures and make good compositions, I'm wasting a lot of time making settings. Settings with the AF. Wow, this is crazy with the AF settings that I need to do on a Fujifilm camera. So this is simple. 
It's very simple. Great AF, no misses at all. Just point and shoot. And this is what I wanted. Point and shoot. I've set up the camera. I don't need to fiddle with other settings. If I'm doing some settings, no problems. My settings aren't over the head, like on a Fujifilm camera, if I'm uh, cranking up the exposure compensation dial and so No, just easy settings. Don't worry, point and shoot. Concentrate on composition, concentrate on light, concentrate on subject, concentrate on what matters. And now, if you want to take your business at the next level, please check my business newsletter dedicated to working photographers. There I share tips and tricks on how to earn money from photography and grow your photography business. I have there 5 tools that you need to use in your photography business to grow your business and to get clients. Click the link in the comments and description. The link also is printed here. And again, the flip screen, the size and the battery, it seems it's keeping up very well. So I only need two batteries. So I'm very, very satisfied with my choice and I'm very glad that I've decided to take this step and to try a small Sony camera. Now I have many more options and I can make many more comparisons between Sony cameras, full frame cameras, APS-C cameras, Fujifilm cameras and Micro Four Thirds cameras. And yes, this is a great, great camera. I'm totally, totally loving it. I feel finally I found the successor of my Lumix GX9. So I'm totally recommend this series any series that will take, it will not bother you, I feel. I feel that even the Sony A6100 is great for photography, A6500 and so on. All these tools are great for photography. I'm not bothered by the fact that I don't have IBIS for street photography. I don't want IBIS. And when I've bought this camera, I've decided to also buy the small kit lens because it will help me do some b-rolls because it has great great video specs slow motion specs and this it's so small it has optical image stabilization it's like lumic gx9 small kit and i'll be able to test it out i also have a rocker here and a zoom ring here and it's working great it's not a slowish power zoom so i'm totally amazed it's really feeling that sony was trying their best they put all the technology here they didn't make compromises so i'm really liking this i am sick and tired of photographical companies photographical of making compromises with small cameras like a doesn't do this and it seems sony also doesn't do this also lumix didn't do this so i'm totally okay with those companies so bravo lumix sony and other companies like leica who aren't making compromises when they are building small cameras and small lenses so I'm totally recommending this camera. I'm very thrilled and I'm really glad that I found my combo. Look how easy it is on the hand. Look how easy this camera is on the hand. Very easy, very light. And it's important for street photography. Why? Very easy. You see a scene, boom, boom, boom. Very easy. It's important for me. It's really making the difference. And I'm showing pictures. Done with this technique, if I had a bigger camera like Sony A7RC or even like Sony A7C, I would not be able to take those pictures. So having a light small camera, it's helping you get free with the angles. So a very, very good experience. And again, the only system that it's offering me what I was looking for, a tilt screen with a 40 mm f2 equivalent lens. And I'm totally feeling this field of view because this is my go-to field of view. So these are my first impressions about Sony A6400 and why I am liking it. And yes, I totally recommend it. I would have wished to have a USB-C so it doesn't have a USB-C. If you go to the next model, you will probably have the USB-C, but again, it, I'm okay because it's light, it has flash. The next model doesn't have flash. Probably that will be my second APS-C Sony camera. So. Totally recommend this camera. I'm totally in love with it. Please subscribe for more. Please check my affiliate links. If you want to support my channel, subscribe to my channel, become a member to my channel. Thank you for all the members that are supporting this channel. And also check my newsletter for the passionate photographer, but also for the 
working photographers. There you receive tips and tricks how you can raise your photography business. Please check all the links in the comments and description and share my video on WhatsApp, on Instagram, on Facebook. And now please check the next video. Click, click, click here now.